One question. Do you like this? That's disgusting. I'll show you what it's hard. This is art! But have you ever wondered what happened to the 90s anime style? Oh yeah, the great drawing! The smooth animation that makes you feel nostalgic even if you haven't watched any of the 90s anime. But there's clearly a difference between this and this, right? Certainly there are many factors that change this style drastically over the years, but to know what happened, we have to talk about how anime became popular. I'm not going to tell the whole story of anime in detail, just that you have in mind that the 70s was where anime started to be popular in Japan, because of one of the most popular genres even for today. Mecha genre. These giant robots with futuristic and scientific stories that caught anyone's attention. Just to see what was behind this giant futuristic world and lots and lots of merchandise. Just so that in the 80s the condom genre was born and with it the popularity of merchandising of anime increased. That's why if you search for city pop you get footage of space anime. So that's how we get into the 90s where anime is popular in Japan. Most titles are getting into the west with lots of genres and lots of stories. But wasn't enough. See, if you search for seasonal anime of today you can see a lot of titles. But if you go into any year in the 90s, there are just a few. So, what to do? With the rise in popularity of anime, there was the question of how to create more of them efficiently. As I said before, there were only two to six new anime being aired every couple of months. And this is because producing with traditional animation is tough. It took a long time to meet deadlines with that kind of drawing standard. When I say drawing standard, I mean all these details in every character and every landscape of the anime. So, how to do it more efficiently? Quick question. What is the difference between these two. If you found it, great! You see a lot of anime, so why don't you subscribe? If you didn't, don't worry! I know you watch anime, so why don't you subscribe too? Even though these two clips are from the same year, you can see that the difference is the focus of what to animate. For example, this Disney clip focuses on motion, while the anime on scenery. What do you think American animation compares to Japanese animation? Are the techniques the same? I will say there are a lot of differences. Disney animation is more about the animation itself. It's about the movement. It's about what happens between the frames. Japanese anime has its own set of rules that has been developed. It's like a mixture of live action film language with comic strips. The animation movement is not the emphasis. They figure out a lot of ways to cheat. It's about pretty drawing, not movement. It's true they figure out how to cheat. A great example is Evangelion. If you've seen Eva, you can see that many scenes are static, only with mouth movement, or just showing a landscape with a narrator behind it. This is because Gainax didn't have money to pay more animators and especially to meet deadlines. Another example is Dragon Ball Z. Many fights are just these guys fighting and teleporting in the sky to assimilate speed. But it is also a way to cheat and, well, to save a few seconds. And the way to compensate for this lack of movement was with an increase in detail. But it did not satisfy the market demand. So let's summarize with this. As production increased, meeting deadlines with this detailed anime with traditional animation was not optimal. So that's why many studios went to a digital way and lower the anime details. I say lower, but it depends how much money studios want to invest to increase these details. Yeah, all that is great, but you haven't explained what happened to the 90s anime. So, why the change of drawing? Because you and me know that anime technology had to advance in order to make more anime. But why did the drawing have to change? And well, that's an interesting question that could have many answers, but my only personal answer is trends. Trends are this wave of people who started doing something different and unique, and with that caused a domino effect so that everyone else started doing it too. But why? Well, the answer is really simple. It's because it works really well and more importantly, it sells. I always like to give Dragon Ball Z as an example because for Shonen it's really a milestone of how Shonen established. If you go and see what other anime premiere or air at the same time, art really stands out from the other titles. And not only that, the theme of being action with some 
fantasy martial arts makes it so likely to become popular. Because there was a martial arts trend at that time and the art made it stand out from the other anime. So it was only in Toriyama's hands to make this story great, to make it a legacy. And well, that's what we got. The point is that all manga publishers want to get a strong title that will make them money. So for that, mangakas are usually asked to follow suggestions for themes, art, and a lot of other points. So the title doesn't get behind the trend and at least get some profit from the merchandise. Of course, mangakas are free to make what their imagination wants. But at the end of the day, this is an industry which has a market that demands what they want. So that's how many anime took Dragon Ball Z as a reference until someone had a new idea to market their manga or anime and jump into that trend. And this obviously affects the art in various ways because someone could popularize and try to copy art from the original or change it to stand out from all their titles. In a few words, the art was affected by us. Consumers. Let's take another example which is brilliant because it's more recent. Sword Art Online. You can have any opinion about this story and how it's written, but it's a fact that the anime became really successful. Till this day is the top one of the best Kodakawa titles and its publication was in 2009. And as a successful title, the creation of a lot of isekais was inevitable. There is a lot of copies of Kirito around this trend, and why? Because it's something that the market is looking for and consequently the art style resembles so much. Well, until now. In recent years, there has been a new evolution in anime, where there is a style, there is an aesthetic that is making each anime unique in some ways. And that's because, well, anime has become mainstream. People are looking for more stories like this and there are a lot more money to make great adaptations. Sure, we still have this generic looking anime, but still every season there is something fresh to watch. New ways to experience and share these stories that are worth watching, so a new question might resurface. Do we still need a 90s anime style? But what do you think? Do you agree that this is what happened to the 90s anime style or something else happened? Write in the comments what do you think. Give a like if you enjoy and if you like this type of content, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.